Margaret Wolf story. Tonight, she talks only to Eyewitness News about her famous cousin from the tiny Kansas town of Peru. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Grayle. See the name Peru, and you probably think of a country in South America. But this southeast Kansas town of 100 used to be home to 5,000, including Barack Obama's ancestors. We don't know if Obama has ever been here to Peru or if he'll ever come, but we do know that this is where his Kansas roots begin. <laughs> Margaret Wolf of Hutchinson is a first cousin to Obama's grandmother. She met us at the Peru Methodist Church to talk about the tie that binds her to the likely Democratic nominee. Uh, Barack's great-great-grandfather and his great-great-grandmother, both of their funerals were in this church. Up until four years ago, Wolf says she had no idea she and Obama were related. She only knew she had a cousin who was a well-known black politician in Chicago. Then she saw Obama's speech at the Democratic National Convention. They asked him what he was going to do now that all this election uh, was over, and he says, well, I'm going to go see my 82-year-old little white grandma from Augusta, Kansas and she lives in Honolulu. I quickly called another cousin and she says, that's right, that's Stanley Ann's son. Wolf wrote her newfound relative a letter and then went with a tour group to Washington and got to see him. He gave me a hug and said, you guys take care of my cousin. They've gotten together three times since then, the last time at Obama's rally in El Dorado in February. She used to be a Republican but decided blood was thicker than politics. So I changed parties and uh, I'm giving him my all. Their family ties to Peru are now history, but it's history that suddenly matters to some people. Local residents are not sure what to think about it. Will this put Peru back on the map? <laughs> no, I don't think anything will put Peru back on the map. This may not be where a President Obama would spend his vacations, but it may be the town where the road from Kansas to the White House began, generations before anybody ever imagined it. In Peru, Jim Grayway, KWCH 12, Eyewitness News. Wolf says she doesn't plan to go to the Democratic National Convention, but hopes to get an invitation to the White House if her cousin is elected.